Now let's look at part two of question B. Um, part two of question four B. Earlier in part one, we saw that x was greater than negative four, and at the same time less than or equal to two thirds. Part 2 says, represent your answer in B1 on the number line shown below. So, let's see what happens. Here, let's say, let's imagine negative 4 is here. So, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. We have 1, 2, 3 and so on. Alright? x is greater than negative 4 so we identify negative 4 and place an open circle because it says x is greater than negative 4 so the arrow showing the values of x would point this way all right greater than because negative 3 is greater than negative 4 negative 2 is also greater than negative 4 and so on no use an open circle because it says greater than not greater than or equal to so negative 4 is not included in the list of values then it says less than or equal to two-thirds two-thirds it's about here so identify where two-thirds is it says less than or equal to that mean two-thirds is included in the list of values you're considering so we have a shaded circle of my circle here and shade it x is less than these values so as we go to the left we look at values that are less than so in this case this region represents the values of x that would be uh, um would be represented which would represent this inequality all right 